What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Frayed Brush. I'm Big Aaron. A um, little bit of a different view today. So this is what uh, I usually see that everybody doesn't um, when I'm doing a video. Um, so I actually use my iPhone to shoot all my videos, and this is the, the cradle I use and everything. Um, the reason I'm doing a video a little bit different today is because I needed a little bit more room, viewing area. So I had to adjust an arm and everything and needed some uh, second to explain stuff. So I don't know if I've ever shown my actual hobby area before, um, but here it is. Um, the toolbox is full of tools, not the normal type though. Um, so there's all the little, uh, little bit of tools and everything I use and open um, inside there I don't know if you can see it but there's some other tools that I use I've got the pieces to the Gundam I'm currently working on um, sitting on top there so I don't want to flip it up the whole way but uh, these will be in an upcoming video um, this drawer sanding filing milliput uh, beading wire for pinning things uh, various drill bits things like that um, this is some extra brushes, extra wet palette sponge, my rotating display table. Uh, this is just a mod podge of things. Um, if you got any questions about anything in here, let me know down below. Um, and then this is picks, markers, sticks for uh, airbrushing, things like that. Um, and then over here, uh, there's my 3D printer and the rest of the parts of the Gundam I'm working on. Also, um, the modeling club I'm a part of, uh, the Fort Modelers Association, is doing a contest November 6, 2021 at the Hobby Town in Fort Smith, Arkansas. So mark that on your calendars. Be there. I expect to see some great entries there. Um, then going on the table. The table's kind of a mess right now, but um, got all my paints. Oh, look at that. Hold on. What is this? Oh, look. Somebody didn't hit the subscribe button. Don't let it be you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thumbs up for videos, comments below. I answer all questions. So here's the rest of the paintings uh, that I own. Um, different brands. Um, we got some Vallejo. We got some Reaper Chimera, Badger Minotaur, some War Colors, um, some Citadels. Uh, what else? There's some golden acrylics and this top racks on the wall here are all reaper paints okay and then here's a few little uh scale color uh their inks uh some of my absolute favorite metallics vallejo metal colors some washes and there's the set of <clears throat> the monument pro acrylics that i've been going on about recently great paints love them they haven't let me down yet but I like to try different things. <clears throat> so I started picking me up some Vallejo paints, uh, just a few of them here and uh, here and there. And I noticed something, all this paint storage, right? Well, good old Mr. Tamiya doesn't want to cooperate, okay? So I was like, told myself, I was like, all right, Big Aaron, we got to figure this out. We can't have a messy area. We got to have our stuff organized. So let's see what we can come up with. So I got on the old Amazon, you know, and started looking around at things. And then what I found was this, okay? Now, I am not sponsored by anybody. Let me tell you that up front. That allows me to give a very honest opinion without worrying about losing sponsorship, repercussions, all that kind of stuff, okay? <laughs> so... This is a little hobby station by OPHR, okay? This is uh, the bag it came in, okay? O-O-O-P-H-I-R, -O Ophir, Ophir Hobby Tool, Airbrush Your Life, okay? Didn't get anything that has to do with airbrushing from them, all right? I'll leave a link to their uh, um, website if, if I can get one below. I don't know, maybe they got an Amazon store or something I can link. Um, <clears throat> This thing's pretty amazing, okay? 
So I'm gonna show you a little bit of how I'm gonna use this thing. Super, super simple to put together, okay? One thing I liked about it was everybody that gets this laser cut stuff has to worry about gluing and everything. Well, what Ophir, I think that's how it's pronounced, if it's not, let me know. What they've decided to do is put these little rubber grommets, okay? You just slide those rubber grommets around the tabs and everything stays together, all right? So this came with the four drawers, two smaller, I guess, and two larger, okay? Then the reason I got it, it also holds my Tamiya paints, okay? Now these are the 23 mil bottles, okay? Right there, 23 mil, okay? But Ophir was like, you know what? We've got something great here, and I agree with him. It is great. Let's go even bigger. What Ophir has done is they have put in a slide-out piece that what I'm going to use it for is to hold my fine detail pins, okay? So I'm not going to load up the whole thing right now. I'm just going to give you a general idea. So we got a couple of pins in there. Now, I haven't tested this yet. This is groundbreaking testing right here, okay? For the first time, this should slide back up in there and everything is concealed. Okay, for the most part it works, all right? Matter of fact, I think I have it put together incorrectly. So that is completely on me. So, this side, matter of fact, you know what? We'll uh, we show you how easy this is, I think. There we go, okay? So I put this together incorrectly. So don't, don't, don't trash the people at Ophir, okay? I was excited, got in a hurry. So what happened is I put both pin pieces on the same side and both solid pieces on the same side, which explains to my curiosity, well, why they would put a solid box in there. They didn't, that's my fault. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna pop off these little grommets. It's easy this, ladies and gentlemen, as easy as this. Okay, pop off the tabs. All right, there's one, here's the box. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna pop off this tab, all right? It's off. Okay, so this one needs to go on this side. This box stays over here. Now what we're gonna do on this one, pop off the little rings. Okay, no, we don't wanna, don't force it, all right. And I'll be honest with you, you know, I saw this and it was made out of the thin uh, laser cut um, stuff. And I was like, man, I don't know about this. I don't know and they didn't let me down, okay? So now, what we're gonna do, now this is how the whole thing went together. All right, we're gonna slide that in there. All right, things will go a little sideways for a second. It's okay, don't panic. It's all gonna work out. Then we take our little rubber grommet, boom, back together, all right? So now, we got four pieces we gotta line up here, so patience is a virtue, all right? Got it back together, get that little piece in there. All right, now, this is about how easy the entire thing went together, okay? I first got it, I had all these pieces, I was looking at it, I was like, man, I was like, I was field artillery for 20 years, I'm not ready to do this much brain power, but there we go, I have easily fixed my mistake. All right. Now, go back, throw this other side together real quick, and then we'll go back into our real-time testing, okay? So easy, so easy. I love this company. Ophir, if you're listening, send me anything you want to test and do a video on. I'd be more than happy to. All right, and then back together that quick. Now. That's the way it's supposed to be properly put together. That way your pins don't fall through the bottom. So if you go buy this set, hopefully you watch this video first and you don't make the same mistake I did. Now, this should close with the pins in there. 
Cole, look at that. Closed. Look, look, you still can't see it. Hold on. Look at that. Closed up. Flush. Flush. Good to go. All right. Now, the upper shelf. Uh, I don't know. I don't really have anything here, but let's do some primer, airbrush cleaner, lighter fluid. Um, will the water bottle fit? <laughs> water bottle will fit. Bigger water bottle. All right. We're good to go. So we've got our Tamiya paints. All right. Then we got little, I got me some little cotton bud things. Throw those in your little drawers. All right. We can take and put this in the other little drawer. And I mean, these are some good sized drawers. You figure that's probably a six by six, maybe seven by seven. I don't know. So let me see some other things we can do here. Um, wow, I don't know. I kind of put everything away before I got this. Um, if you have a bunch of pins, here we go. There you go. Place to put them, place to put them. Anyway, this video was short, sweet. Wanted to give you a little bit of an idea of what I, what I work with uh, when I do videos. Uh, video is gonna be coming out soon of Update to the project and this over here in this corner could be some future projects coming up. Keep your eye out. Also, remember, don't be the person that didn't subscribe. All right. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up button. Share all the videos you can across the world. Leave questions, comments down below. And until next time, remember, Big Aaron sent you.